Well, howdy there, bounty hunters. Welcome back to H2TV. And let me just get a drink of gin, replenish my cores, of course. Another drink won't hurt before this massive onslaught of enemies. Uh, pretty similar to the one last week with uh, Sergio. But the good news is this one is a lot easier uh, than last week. So I will show you the two towers that I use. Uh, first, it's really easy to do this first part. You just have to clear out everyone on the outside of the fort. And then once you make your way inside, you have to clear out the enemies in there. And really not that many, maybe seven, eight guys. So just keep an eye on your health core. Uh, I'm using my Deadeye ability to heal myself. It's only level one, so it does go pretty slow. So I'll be working to level that up to level two and three. But nonetheless, you can see it's uh, no problem taking these guys out. We got a few on the top, a few on the ground. So once you get inside, there should be two or three left. A few shots, got one in the corner. And one up top. So again, this is really easy. Uh, once you clear those guys out, you have to wait for the the real level to begin when they start sending troop after troop after enemy after enemy just an onslaught just a massive wave of enemies so this is the tower that i uh, set myself in for the majority of the level the legendary bounty and again just like the one from last week you want to get comfortable see your play space you've got these windows so each direction you will have to deal with. Uh, the one I'm looking out now is the least amount of enemies, but there are a few that come this way as well. So you want to move between this one and the one you want to look at the most is the one right down below. Uh, because these guys can enter your tower and climb up. And those red boxes, the one I just shot, are explosive, so keep that in mind. You can use that to your advantage. And you can see this guy is getting, trying to climb up to that plank. That's where they can uh, rush you, get into your tower. So that's what you want to keep an eye on the most. And remember to always put your hat back on. I'm pretty sure that does protect you a little bit from headshots. So we got our hat back. And this is just a waiting game. Just be very patient. And it's not nearly as chaotic as the one last week in that one tower because you've got the walls of the fort which makes it more difficult for the enemies to get close to you to get to your tower. So for me it was a lot more relaxing this one than the one uh, last week. Again that one tower just surrounded was brutal. And it's about the right time to check this back window and we've got a, quite a few enemies out here. So just keep in mind uh, the time that you spend at this window because there will be more enemies getting into the fort at that window behind you. So you do have to switch back and keep an eye on it for sure. Which we will do right now. And you see we've got two guys that are trying to rush, trying to get to that plank. And now we'll take advantage of that other explosive that box blow those guys up and just take your time and you can see from this window we can switch to the right to get a view on the outside of the fort as well uh, that is very helpful so keep that in mind clearing out a few guys on the right And we've got some guys way in the distance, way out there close to that river. Those guys are harder to get. Healing up a little bit. Got a guy up top that... Don't want any guys getting up top. You don't want any guys uh, getting into any positions in the fort with you. You want to maintain your position of height and your uh, cover. So any guys trying to climb up, take them out. 
And this is around the point where the enemies start thinning out. You can see there's some way back there, but not as many in the fort now. So that's always a good sign of progress. Take out the good old dual Schofields. Make uh, easy work of that guy down there. And the one tricky part is there will be guys behind the uh, fence of the fort. You see that? So it's hard to see them, but your reticle will lock on. You'll have to fire some shots through the wood of the uh, fence of the fort once in a while. And it's starting to look pretty good now. Starting to look pretty thinned out. We'll check the back again. Got a few more guys on the back side. Just take your time and pop in and out of cover. Don't stay up there for too long. Especially on these five-star bounties. These guys are so accurate and they hit hard. So just keep popping up, going down. Take your time with it. We'll check the uh, main window again, the front. And it is looking good. It is looking cleared out. That's what you want to see. You can see over that side is where we have to make our way to next. That is where Mr. Tucker is with his gang. And I've got the rifle with the scope and uh, not effective. That fence is just in the way. So we're going to make our way down. Before you head over there, you're going to want to check one more time. Make sure that downstairs, down below is clear. Get cover behind these uh, little posts and clear these guys out first so you don't have to worry about them. Basically, you want to remove all the enemies from all sides until you have that last side to deal with where Cecil Tucker is with his gang. So you want to clear everything up before you move to that last side, and that is what I'll call tower number two. So we started in tower number one, and we're working our way across this plank to tower number two. As far as that machine gun, that turret, I would strongly advise do not use it because once you use the uh, machine gun, you're attached to it, you're very vulnerable and you, it's hard to retreat or get out of harm's way if a bunch of uh, guys show up out of nowhere, which can definitely happen. So now we're in tower two and we've just got this last side to deal with. And what you want to do is really look at the situation before you do anything. So there is Cecil in his blue shirt and his vest. So you want to visually be aware of Cecil and you want to work with your GPS to see his position on the uh, map so that you don't kill him. Because the last thing you want to do is get this far and kill Cecil um, because you'll get a lot less money, a lot less experience. So keep an eye on your GPS, keep pressing uh, the button to enlarge it, make it bigger, and just take your time and just clear these last few guys out. But you do not want to go down there until there is just Cecil left or maybe two or three guys. But I did go down previously and I got ambushed, you know, back when there was seven, eight guys when you first go down. Really tough. So just take your time, be patient. Patience is the name of the game. Keep an eye on your health core. Uh, have a few tonics to pop if you need them. And you can see there's that tree that's in the way, which makes it a little bit more difficult, but that reticle still locks on. So just take your time and pop shots through the uh, trees. There we go, got one, got two. It is looking pretty clear now. I reckon Mr. Tucker is in trouble. So now we can uh, head down this ladder and make our way to apprehend Cecil. Little tricky getting out of that spot. Little opening right there. And I've called over my horse, so I am ready to throw him on. 
get cover behind this rock, pop a tonic just in case. And let's go. Lasso out. And throw. Got him. You are going nowhere, Tucker. Slam him back down in the dirt. Wrap him up. And we are good to go. Now for this last part of the uh, bounty. If you follow the GPS the way the uh, map tells you to go, there's like eight roadblocks with like 20 guys. It's so ridiculous. Even on the easier difficulties, it was extremely frustrating. So after some experimentation, I'm going to show you guys my route where I encountered zero. That's right. No enemies whatsoever. Uh, you might get two or three. Um, I've gotten it the previous time. But just be ready for a few, but there's also a chance there will be absolutely no one. So just follow the road, follow the yellow line the GPS is telling you. As soon as you see these railroad tracks, take them. Take these railroad tracks, they're going the same direction to Ansberg, but you're going to avoid like 10 roadblocks with like 20 guys. And as soon as you see this road to the right of the railroad tracks, the GPS map will tell you to go this way. Take this road, you're going to go down this hill, and you're going to see a river that you're going to pass through. This will let you know that you're on the right track, right down here. And the GPS is going to tell you to go right at this point. Don't do that. Go left, you're going to avoid another two or three checkpoints going this way. And then when the GPS tells you to go right, follow that uh, direction. So we're going to cut right here through the town. And at the end of this road, it's the GPS is going to tell you to go right. Don't do that either. Go directly towards the dot on the GPS, which is the sheriff's office. So just beeline it for that dot. So you're going to cut down this hill, go through these trees. And you're going to come out at the end of the road, very close to Ansberg. So at this point, you're home free. There might be one checkpoint, a few guys, but you can see the town now. We have avoided like 10 checkpoints and like 20 of those enemies. So that is the route to take them in. And that wasn't too bad, right? You just got to have patience in those towers. Really take your time. And again, it's not as hard or chaotic as last week. So let's turn them in. And let's see what we get for XP and money. This one's gonna be seeing the judge real soon. Here's what you do. All right, $108.36 gold and 1067 XP. Very nice. So that is my walkthrough on the solo guide for Cecil C. Tucker, five-star difficulty, and really enjoyed this one as well, um, same as the one from last week. So looking forward to what we get in store next week as well, and really loving this update. So that will do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed watching. Hope you found it helpful and makes it easier to do this five-star bounty. And I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there in the wild, wild west. And I will see you guys soon back in Red Dead Online. H2 signing out for now.